Let us do a lab activity to separate the different components of dye using chromatography. Click each tab to know more. The aim of this activity is to separate the different components of dye using paper chromatography. The materials used in this lab activity are beaker, pencil, black ink bottle, filter paper, cello tape. Take a thin strip of filter paper. Draw a line just above the bottom of the filter paper using pencil. Put a small drop of ink at the center of the line. Let it dry. Now take a beaker and pour a small amount of water in it. Hang the paper strip with the help of a pencil and tape in such a way that the drop of ink on the paper is just above the water level. Now leave it undisturbed. Remove the paper strip from water after 10 minutes. Observe the changes. We have observed the following. The water gradually raises up the filter paper by capillary action. We have observed the following. The water gradually raises up the filter paper by capillary action. As water moves up the paper strip, it takes along the dyes present in ink. The dye, which is more soluble in water, dissolves first, rises faster and produces a colored spot on the paper at higher position. The less soluble dyes dissolve a little lighter, rise slower and form colored spots at some height on the paper. From this activity, we learned that we can separate two or more different substances present in the same solution. Chromatography is a laboratory technique for the separation of mixtures into its individual components. We can use chromatography to separate components of dyes in ink. The process can also be used to separate the colored pigments in plants and flowers and also used to determine the chemical composition of many substances.